So a lot of people like to pride themselves on how well they are when it comes to cooking, cleaning, and preparing food in the kitchen. But that's not always the case. It turns out that a lot of people actually don't know how to practice safe cooking habits. So, do you think you have what it takes? Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I got what it takes. Uh, I've never burned anything down, so I'm pretty sure I practice safe cooking habits all the time. Alright, alright, you seem pretty confident, but I think I have a few safety and healthy cooking habits and tips that might be able to help you out in the kitchen, and I think you can learn a little bit from it. So, let's start off by examining what you do in the kitchen. Alright man, you say you got a few tips to show me, so I guess I'll keep an open mind and listen up. Alright, let's start. Tip number one, know your kitchen. Now I know this seems kind of obvious, but a lot of people slip up in times of emergency when they need to locate and find things that could be useful to them. For example, fire extinguishers. Tip number two, be sure not to wear loose articles or clothing or anything else that can get in the way when you're cooking. Things like this can easily catch fire. Tip number three, don't thaw meat on the counter because germs can spread rapidly at room temperature. It's best to thaw foods in either the refrigerator or cold water or in the microwave. Alright, tip number four. Now I know it seems tempting, but don't eat raw cookie dough. Uncooked eggs can contain salmonella. Lastly, wash your hands. Now it's not exactly new, but a lot of people don't wash their hands quite long enough. You should wash your hands for a full 20 seconds with soap and water. Well, I hope you enjoyed those six helpful tips and reminders about practicing safe cooking habits. Thanks for staying with me and thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.